Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys on the mod. I think it's called Grimillion. Uh, and I wanted to talk about the character that I'm currently playing and just show you guys a little bit of a demonstration. So since this mod adds so much density, if you choose to turn on uh, the density, which I have done via this thing right here, um, I progress actually a lot slower than normal because there's so much density. Well, I'm not progressing slower, I'm just leveling up way more than you normally would progressing through. So anyway, we're playing a Rift Stalker, which is, oh, sorry, a Rift Champion, which is a Rift Stalker and Champion. And at the beginning, I was confused at how to scale. I kind of wanted to take my character as Aether, but I was a little confused. And then I found out that by acquiring multi-frequency, which converts 100% of my Aether into Chaos, and by getting Skirmisher Protocol, which converts 100% of my Lightning to Chaos, which is not just the transmuter, but all of it, I can scale my character to be full Chaos damage, because everything will end up being Chaos, except for my Physical, which I can partially scale to Chaos, but that's for another time. So the only requirement to get Skirmisher Protocol is I need to have a Champion and a Rift Stalker, and I believe I need in total, like, I don't know, 30 points into it. Um, but we have that already, so that's good. So what Skirmisher Protocol is, is it basically gives me a chance to proc Earth Shatter when I'm hit, which if you look is a huge 460% of my main hand, plus the physical, plus the Lightning and Aether, which is converted into Chaos. Then on Champion, I have a skill called Earth Shatter, which is the same thing, which basically can proc as well. This is a 10%, the other is a 20%, but they both proc pretty frequently when you're actually in combat. Um, so that's pretty much how I've decided to level my character is via these procs. So it's a lot more fun than just a retaliation. It's based off of, you know, a gigantic explosion rather than just a mob hits you and retaliation damage. Um, I've got Conviction Aura, which is minus chaos. I can also go into Bulwark, which is also minus chaos, which is really good. And then Rift Stalker has Detach, which is minus chaos. And there's a lot of forms of minus chaos. My single target's not very good purely by itself but usually you're surrounded by monsters and we'll worry about single target later there's like so many other skills i haven't even seen like i haven't looked at anything over here in rift stalker and there's also like a bunch of shit in champion i haven't even seen i haven't even tried like the army yet the summons my devotion tree i don't want to talk too much about yet because i haven't decided fully what i'm going into but i'm going to be chaos themed so we're picking up kraken right now which is super damage and at the moment i just have eldritch fire which applies another minus fire res. Uh, other than that, let me just show you guys how the character kind of looks. So our main skill that we spam uh, for single target, which is not very good right now, is warp. And I'll show you how this works. So this big proc you're about to see, that is one of the uh, earth shatters. That's another Earth Shatter, and that's another Earth Shatter. And that's another Earth Shatter. That's weird. There we go. Character's like stuck. Can't actually reach that guy. Wow. Rude! Oh. Oh. That's weird. Having some strange lag right now. Oh, man. Give me it. Give me the density, dude. There he is, this big guy.
This is where it lacks a little bit, but I'm sure we're gonna find things to fix that later. Oh, we got a monster shrine up here. Also, I'd like to note that this character is the first character of this game, of this specific mod that I've played, so naturally I'm not really going to have very good gear yet. I kind of got to work towards it, which I like. I think it always makes it a bit more fun when you have to work towards your gear. And then I still have to figure out if I'm going to end up going one-handed or if I'm going to go two-handed. I think ideally I definitely want to stay two-handed because my procs do like 400% or 500% weapon damage and I can't imagine that being very strong with a one-hander. Unless this mod specifically has weapons that are like one-handers that are as slow as two-handers or like slower than a two-hander but gives double the damage. I can't see that being a thing by any means so... Uh, which I think is fine because it doesn't seem like my class combination has anything to do with shields um, or one-handed. So that's kind of cool. Soldier and stuff I know are more, much more shield-oriented than like Soldier or Keeper. Ooh. Like, I got one tap, dude. Nice. Storm Mastery. That's, uh... That's Titan Quest item. Oh, that's some... That's pretty yummy, too. Gimme, gimme, come here. Come here, Mr. Storm. Nice. Alright, let me go get to the next waypoint. Or I think maybe the waypoint's not for a little bit, actually. Let's see. Let me go run through here. What's going- Oh, no, this is- I think it's over here, actually. Let's see if I can speed run through this. This might be the wrong way. Yeah, this is not the right way. I think it's this way. Do, 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 do. Yummy. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. I'm definitely gonna have to go back to the other mod, Rot, as well, if you guys are aware of it. I, I released one video on it and never really released more, although I played it on stream. Um, they are doing some quite some nice content patches for Rot, which is the Reign of Terror mod. Okay, here we go. And stop here and kind of look through the skills see what direction I'm gonna go into next. Okay, so, um, I definitely can go one point into most of these procs here. The thing is, that is, 
I already looked at these and they're not weapon damage based, so I don't really care too much about the flat damage procs. Uh, putting points into honor is incredibly strong because it's a damage multiplier, since it says like damage towards undead, which is like a multiplier at the end of your damage uh, to those specific race races. Um, virtue is not bad for one point. Courage is super good for one point, like that is a ton of life. Uh, then we've got Everlasting Might along with Everlasting Spite. Uh, both of these are really good. Everlasting Strength is crazy good because it says as your health drops, you gain flat absorption. Stacks up to eight times, I think. Very, very, very strong procs. Uh, I have not looked at the Army of None yet, but they deal part of my main hand damage. And it says they deal Lightning and Aether, which I'm curious if their damage gets converted to Chaos as well. Because if their damage gets converted, I think they could be incredibly strong for single target. And they also have a line here, which is Radiant Riftborn, which is I don't know if it gives them an AoE of lightning damage, like AoE lightning and aether, which turns into chaos, or if it gives it to me. I'm not 100% sure. And then your allies have the pierce. Let's allies pierce the heavens and draw unleashing judgment from above on your enemies. This is another thing I just don't know. I'm just really curious to see how strong this is, because it would be really cool to play like, like a like a summoner, but you're not really a summoner. You're using player summon pets, and I'm basically running like. Bulwark, which is an aura, along with Conviction, which is an aura to shred their uh, their stats. And then as Ripstalker, I can go like Inhuman Reflexes and then go all as one to give it AoE. I'm, I'm pretty curious exactly like how that works. Um, and then I have like this whole jump line I haven't really went into yet. I just don't have the points to unlock it. And then there's like, I don't even know what this is. Pushes enemies away from the player. The strength of the push increases with your rank. I don't think I care about that. That seems more like a caster spec. Uh, Kadera's Collapse is pulls enemies towards the player. This just sounds cool because of clear speed. You could just like suck mobs in. It doesn't say it has a cooldown and it reduces offensive ability and defensive ability and knocks people down. So this is probably something I'm going to check out. Rift Storm. I don't know what Rift Storm is. I'm curious to see if it's like literally just an AoE around me that does damage, because if it's just an AoE around me that does damage, it seems pretty solid. Uh, and then there's Siren's Call, which creates an area of effect centered on the player. That's what's weird, because this is an AoE that puts people to sleep and reduced resistances for one second. This is also kind of weird. I'm curious to see how this works. There's like just a lot of skills I'm really curious about. Uh, then there's also Intangible, which intangible seems like one of the strongest things I can get, but it converts my Aether into Piercing, but I have priority to convert my Aether into Chaos, so if I can put points into intangible without it actually fucking over my conversion, then I get all damage, the Aether should not work at all, and then I get chance to avoid, which is also pretty good. I did previously have Sap, which is kind of like an aura of Aether, but it's not weapon damage focused, so I dropped it. It does give nice leech with the drain, but I already have really good leech, and it just didn't feel like it was really doing much, and I can't devotion proc it either. Uh, then there's like Rift Ward, which is a summon. Um, the summon can buff me with Tether, which seems pretty good, but I think if I'm gonna go summons, I'm gonna all in on uh, Army of None into like Radiant into Starfall and see how this works. Uh, and then there's like Conversion, which I didn't like, that's like mind control for enemies. Um, there's Battery, which. I don't know what the fuck this is. Stacks up to 16 times. This actually seems like a single target skill. It's just the problem with battery is that it's one-handed only, and I don't really think I want one-handed. Ground Stomp is pretty good too. Um, main hand damage, plus it does physical, plus it does aether, and it has a six second recharge. I'd be curious to see if I go crazy into ground slam, how much damage it would do. And then it combos into thunderous might, which reduces armor, reduces elect or it does electrocution, does internal trauma. So I wouldn't take Thunderous Might. But definitely maxing ground stop, I think, would be like another AoE skill for us to see. Uh, let me just go check really fast how much it actually gives me. Really fast. And then that's pretty much going to conclude the video. Oh, and then the, the relic we crafted, I guess I'll go over. I'm just using basic uh, Sanctuary right now since... Sanctuary is like my bread and butter for new characters in Grim Dawn, since it's hard to find uh, good offensive relics, usually this early on. Mm. 
Need to find a solid weapon too. Make a big difference. Let me take a look. Let's pull like five Stay points strong. out of here. Um, yeah, the scaling seems okay on Ground Stomp. It's not going to be as strong as probably like Earth Shatter. Let's Let see. Me clear your mind of regrets. But it seems pretty good. Where's Ground Stomp? Yeah. That's a really short cooldown, too. I think it's definitely worth putting points in, too. 7 meter radius. Did it actually go up a meter? I think it did. I think it was 6 before. If only if only it scaled even further. But the nice thing about Ground Stomp is that uh, it has Disrupt skill. So I think it'll force casters to probably aim towards me, maybe? It's judgment. Judgment doesn't go up in AoE. Lots of cool stuff to play with on this mod. That's why I kind of like it. Taunt has huge meter radius as well. Lots of good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go back into Conviction. Put this point over there. And that's pretty much about it. So, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you want to check out the mod, uh, it's called Grimillion. I have a previous video on it that explains how to download it and everything. Just go ahead and click on the channel. Uh, but yeah, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox, except for Saturdays. Have a good one, everybody.